Welcome to an honest and in-depth review of these granite pots, specifically the white ones because this is what I have. I bought these pots last year, 2023 in October. So they are now almost six months, about five and a half months like this. I've been getting a lot of their requests telling me to review them. I wanted to use them for at least almost six months or six months before I say something about it. And today is that day. I'm going to tell you my experience with them, what to expect when you buy these granite pots. I'm going to remind you of the brand that I have. I'm going to tell you how to clean them. I'm going to tell you how to maintain them because as you can see, mine are still looking good. So first things first, these pots, they come one, this is the biggest, this one, as you can see, let me just open so you can see. They're really big. Imagine if you have guests. So this is one. That's the biggest, followed by this size. You see? Yeah. They're quite big. That is number two. And then there's this pan. Okay. One of the things I use the most, if you are a regular here, you watch my vlogs, you know how much I use this pan so much. So that is number three. This is number four. This is the size. I use this a lot too. Okay. And then the last size is this one. This is the smallest. Number five. Probably I use it more than I use any other. <laughs> yeah, this is the size. Yeah. Number five. So they come one, two, three, four, five. And I they come with this cooking stick because and we're going to talk about how you're supposed to use them okay that is why they give you this cooking stick so you don't use other things but now apart from that i bought this set also to accompany these because these are the sets these silicone sets are the ones are supposed to use this one i'm going to get into them i'm going when i'm telling you how to use them but i bought them i won't say much about it because they're not part of the pots but yes i bought them complete with the knives you can buy half or you can buy the full set so first things first i want to be honest with you if you are a regular here you know that i live with my daughter so it's just the two of us so there are two pots that I've never used here. This one. This one would be so nice if you say I'm hosting people. Can you imagine me and my daughter using this old pot <laughs> to cook? What will we be cooking in this big pot like this? Hmm? You see how big it is? So I have never used this. That's why it's as good as new. So I don't want to come and say, oh, I've used this and this is how it still looks like. I've never used this one. This is the brand. It's called Bosch. You see even how clean the bottom is because I've never used it. Before I bought these pots, I asked my friends, I have friends who do this for a living. They buy pots for people if you want to them to go and buy them for you. So obviously I knew they knew which ones were good. I was asking according to my budget at the time. I was like, if I need a pot that is like the range of 10,000 shillings or maybe slightly below what is the best one and they recommended Bosch. So this is made in Germany as you can see again. I'm just showing you because if at the end you feel like you want to buy them, you know which brand. So I'm just going to put it aside because I've never used it. And then this is the second pot that I've also never used. I already showed you the size. The reason I've never used these two is because they are so big for normal days. I cannot cook in them unless maybe I have visitors and I've not hosted for the period that I've had them. So these two, they are as good as new, as good as new. Everything looks new here. So the pots that I'm going to talk about are these three, three because these are the ones that I have the experience with. As I'm telling you about my experience, I don't want to take away from any other person's experience. If you experience something different, then you are free to talk about it. I'm just talking about my experience with these pots. For so for the almost six months that I've used them, I want to show you how the inside looks like. You see, I'm moving away so it cannot focus on me and be too bright. Can you see? There's not a single scratch inside. There's no peeling. There's nothing. This is how it looks like on the outside. They get uh, is it stains? I don't know if these are stains. Yes, they, are, they get stains if you use a lot of heat, or if you 
them over a period of time and this is not stayed from like one week or like one month i left this one specifically so i can show you how to clean them when you get to that we are going to clean this together so that is it i'm showing you the ones that i've been using if you look at this one too this is the inside part there's not a single scratch not even a dot anywhere okay this one at least i've been cleaning it a bit so you can see it doesn't have as many stains and the third one too look at the inside not a single scratch for six months for almost six months so okay this one imagine i attach this one today <laughs> if you've been watching my channel you know you've seen me cook with this so many times almost in every video and i've never like had the handle because i am not good at assembling things putting things together stresses me up so i managed to assemble this because they come separately this comes separately this comes separately this comes separately you have to put it together but when it came to this i had such a challenge so i was like i'm just going to cook it use it like that so today i managed to sit down and create it but you see how clean this pot is these are among the most used, yet it doesn't have a single scratch in it. This is how the leads look like. This is how the leads look like. As you can see, it's glass and then this part here and then this caraba thing which you can remove if you want. You don't remove all the time, maybe once in a while, maybe once in two months. If you feel like you want to clean the inside, you can remove it. But you see, if you remove it, this is delicate because if this falls down, it can break. So you can do it when maybe you take a, is it a kitchen cloth or something and then maybe remove and put it there. So and then putting it back is just so easy. But you don't need to remove it every time you wash. The water does not get inside. You see that I've, I've removed it and there's no water. So don't fear like dirty water will maybe get into your food or something. If you just want to be extra, that's when you may remove it. All the leads are also in good condition. None of my leads has been broken. All of them are okay. Okay? Including the ones that I've not been using. I wanted to tackle the scratch part because that is the most common thing I see people worried about. And another thing I want to mention is that if you choose to buy white pots, you're going to have to put in more work in maintaining them compared to someone who has black pots. I knew that, but I wanted white specifically. So I've, I've tackled the issue of no, not having a single scratch from the inside so i want to tackle outside there's one thing that i noticed with i think two pots this one this is one of the ones i use the most if you look at this part here where is it this part they're very very minute this is the thing that i noticed so i don't know if they are peeling i don't know if they got scratched uh, on the way and they came like that that is what I did. You notice and this one. You see they are like dots, but they are not where the cooking is happening. I don't know if it will continue to peel at some point. That's something I noticed, so I wanted to show it to you. And then these are also the ones that I use the most. Where? Here. They are like two dots. You have to really... Well, that's what you see. Here. They are like dots. You have to really, really, really be very, very keen and see. You see this one those are the only things that i've seen for me so i for me i can confidently say that the pots i have used them for six months they have not peeled you have seen inside because that is where it normally peels when you're cooking i want to tell you my experience with them when it comes to cooking <laughs> don't laugh i'm just boiling water uh, I was not cooking anything at this point. I had not thought about it. I would have maybe prepared something. But you see, this is how the pots look like. I wanted to tell you, like, first thing you see I've touched here. This place does not get hot. So you don't need to hold it using a cloth. You just open your food and do whatever. This place does not get hot. So let me just turn them off. And then another thing is that this handle, you see? I'm holding this handle, yet the water is hot because the handle also does not get hot. However, 
this part does get hot for the pots i don't know why i, I wish they would have used i think these are different material if you can see i wish they would have used the same material on all the pots so that you can just carry but it's okay so you need to know that this part gets hot you're going to have to use a piece of cloth to hold it but this part the top for all of them do not get hot and then for the pan this one also does not get hot I was previously using these saucepans. The, what I noticed is that cooking was very smooth. Like, it it just glides. You don't struggle. It was very, very different from these, which I was just used to. I don't know, being a little bit rough. So for me, I love that fact. If you have any type of non-stick pan, these are the kind of spoons you need to use. These are silicone spoons. And then this is wooden. That's why when you buy this one, they give you this one of it. So you either need to use wooden spoons or silicone. Don't use stainless steel. Don't use a normal spoon. Anything that is metallic because it's going to scratch. So that is one way of taking good care of them. Also, try not to use a lot of heat because that will make the bottom part of the pan and around it also to have those two stains. Like someone like me, I need to be careful because my oven gives off a lot of heat more than a lot of ovens so sometimes the heat comes all around so i have to use less heat or yes just use less heat to avoid a lot of stains and then also how you clean them will determine whether or not they will last longer so let's go into how to clean these kind of pots and i'm going to use this one that i left the stains on we're going to clean this it's quite dirty but it's a bit hot still, so let me put it in there because I was boiling water a bit. Let me explain first how we are going to clean the different parts before we start. If you look at the pot, this inside part, this granite, it's made of a different material from here. So you cannot clean them the same. When you're cleaning this inside part, you should avoid anything rough. Anything rough includes steel wool, or the other even harder steel wool. You need to clean it using this sponge that you use for cleaning uh, utensils. Okay, you can clean use this soft part, and if you feel like maybe it has some food particles stuck, you can use this hard part. <laughs> I've just realized mine is uh, yeah. I need to replace it. It's not that hard, but as you can see, this part is really a bit harder. It will not scratch it off. But do not, do not, do not use this. Do not use the metal, uh, the spoons. Yeah. So that is for the inside part. This outside part, this part, you can clean it using this carafe part, rough part of the sponge, the cleaning sponge. And now that when it comes to this, which is why I want to clean, because here, of course, you clean after every meal. This part, if you see, it's made of a different material. It's almost like stainless steel, if I'm not wrong. So here, we have to use something rough. And this is where the steel wool comes in. You only use the steel wool here. Okay? If you, you clean after every use, okay, after every use, most of them it won't have stains. Or if you clean maybe once a week or something, you may just need your normal dishwashing liquid, dishwashing, um, whether it's the bar soap, whether it's the dishwashing liquid or that, that one that, that is, um, what is it called? A paste. Yeah, just use them and steel wool and to, to clean only that part. But if you have st your stains have stayed for quite a, a while, like mine have, these ones, they will not come off if I just use only steel wool. So I need extra things. Number one, what I need is Vim. You need Vim. This one, you know Vim. If you clean your sink, if you clean your toilet, and then you need bicarbonate of soda baking soda people normally confuse baking soda with baking powder this is baking soda this is baking powder not this one this one is for cooking this one is for mandazi put it aside this one is written by carbonate of soda so you need this you need vim you need your normal way of washing the nini and you need steam i got this actually method from pesh kenya there was a time when i got these ponds before i started using them i was researching like because i know some people are complaining like they cheap they do what so i wanted to just know how to take good care of them and i got this specific way of cleaning from pesh kenya yeah she's a youtuber you can check her out there are also people i've seen who say they use clorox clorox because clorox is a bleaching thing so they just put water and then clorox 
and then put the pans in there. They say by the time they come back, everything has come out for its own. They don't, they don't need to scrub. Personally, I've not tried that method yet, so I can't say if you should use it or not. If you choose to use it, please research more on it. Let some water run on it, because you can't do this when it's dry. And then take your vim. I don't do measurements. I don't know actually this is the good measurement. I just try just to cover, you know, where you can see the stain. And I have to say, my pot has this two, this shape. Is it diamond? I don't know, this shape. There's some that just have lines. Those ones are easy to clean because you just follow the lines. But you see these ones that I have these, you have to mean I have to get into inside each. So that part I don't enjoy so much. And I think <laughs> sometimes it makes me put off this part. But just cover it with vim. We go cover it with bicarbonate of soda just cover it the combination of these two is powerful and then get your normal detergent and this uh, I wish I'd wait this, let me wait this and then I just pour the detergent if you're using that paste dishwashing paste mm -hmm, I hope you've given it time <laughs> I'll put water I hope you have gotten enough time. So, just the way you would wash it now. Just put your, whatever it is you use to wash. And then start scrubbing away. But make sure you don't go to this. Don't use it. It's just this metallic part. So, let's do the scrubbing. So, just scrub. And as I've said, because mine has these two things, which I use really really hate sometimes they just have to go in but if yours doesn't have then you are a bit safe and let's just scrub if not enough you can always add i don't know if you can see but for me you can see they're starting to become whiter Maybe don't let it take too long before you scrub so you don't have a lot of things. Put it inside. This part I don't like. <laughs> so I'm not going to take long here. The video otherwise will be so long because this is just a part of the review i think i'll leave it there for today okay i'll continue to just wash it on my own but i just wanted to see if there's a difference even if it's a small one it is this place the fact that these things are inside but you see these places that don't have any so if you are particular kind of granite does not have these uh, Will be in a better position. So, as I said, when you are cleaning these other parts, just use this and um, ordinary soap, this one, any. Just like, just clean it inside. And imagine when you are cleaning it, you don't need to struggle. Another thing that I loved about this pot, or that I love, is that. You don't need to struggle with the stains uh, for the food particles to come out. Over there, you just put water. And if you feel like maybe they are so stuck, you can just put hot water. And then this part, you can use this almost rough part if it has stains or something. Just softly. Nothing is a struggle, which is what I love the most about this part. So that's how you clean it. I will try the Clorox. I will try submerging them in water with Clorox. And let you know. So if you've not followed me, follow me. So I'll update you in a vlog because I can't do a whole video for just that one thing. So that is our pot. It's clean. Yeah, this place is, this place is white, 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 white. But here it's normally white with like two dots of two small dots of orange. These I repeat, these are months of stains. Not something that accumulated over a week or two weeks. 
months so if you have these pots also and you have a different way of cleaning that removes the stains please share down below because we're always looking for the simplest if there's another simpler way or another more effective way please let me know especially for those who have this particular type that has this box please let me know because for me these are my headaches not even the actual cleaning if you look at this part it's very clean but these are my headaches and to the most important question are these granite pots worth it would they recommend someone to buy them and i'm talking from my experience and from the white ones that i bought so number one for me having used them almost close to six months and as, as i've shown you the only thing i've noticed is those two to almost dirtish and then this one happened recently last week I was cooking chicken and I used a lot of spices on my chicken and then that oil, I don't know what happened when I was removing the oil, the oil kind of just made like a like a, it might even be a noticeable but like a, a, a spot here, which I've been wondering why, because when you cook with these pots, even if you use spices like turmeric and whatever, inside anywhere they don't stain. So this was the first time I noticed this and I was like, what's going on? So I'm still trying to figure out how to remove this cardot. But I'm a perfectionist, so <laughs> that's something I'd notice. But apart from those two, there's nothing else that I've noticed that are bad about this pot. So for me, I would say if you have, if you're working within that budget of ten thousand shillings and below, I would recommend you to buy this brand specifically, Bosch. Okay, no, you're coding, you're going according to your budget. But if you have the money to buy. You can afford a, a more expensive type of non-stick of granite pots. I would go for. There's one that has been recommended so much. It's called Edinburgh or something. So again, as I mentioned, I have friends who are professionals in this. They told me that Edinburgh is the best when it comes to this section of non-stick and whatever. But if you're working with a budget, is I don't see any bad thing about them. I don't regret buying them. Another thing you need to know is that if you're buying white, if you decide to go white, know that you're going to put in more work. If you pick a color like say black, it will take quite a long time for you to even attempt to see any stain maybe from cooking for long or using high heat. But when you're using white, they'll be clearly visible. But as I've told you and as I've shown you, I don't do that uh, beneath cleaning like every week. No, it's like... <laughs> After a few months, after a few months, but I want to make it to like a monthly thing. Once a month, I just remove them, I just clean them, and that's it. If this is your first time here, I do lifestyle vlogs. Please check out my other videos. If you want to know the price of these, where I bought them, which exact shop, which the contacts, I already did a video, I did a haul when I bought this, so I cannot repeat that information, please. I'm going to put that video at the end of this. When you finish this, it will pop up. I even show the shop, they're from Kankunji. If you want the contacts, everything, please watch that video, please. I don't want to repeat the information to each person individually, yet I've already put it in one video. But if you have any other question, especially regarding anything I've touched here on the review, leave it down below and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching this video Mwah. i love you so much now and i'll see you in my next video bye bye